वेलकम टू मिशन एपीएससी एजे यूट्यूब चेनेल आज आम जिओ टेक्निकल इंजिनियरिंग इम्पर्टेन्ट टपिक देट इज अरिजिन अफ सल विषय आलोचना करोर मजदूर सो अपना जो चेनेल तो चाय भल पाए देन प्लीज चेनेल टू लाइक योर एंड अरिजिन अफ सल एंड सबसक्राइब कर दी टूडे वेल ट्राई टू डिस्काश द टपिक अरिजिन अफ सल सल जी अरिजिन्स है सीटर विषय डिस्काश कर सल मेकानिक्स इनिशियल पार्ट और ये पार्ट तो ऊपर बेसिस कर ए पी एस सिये के क्वेश्चन सोधे सो अपर ये टपिक तो लिशो जिस पी एस सी इरीगेशन फिशारीज जेई एग्जाम कारण प्रिपेयर करण यी टपिक टपिक तो जथेष इम्पर्टेन्ट हम कारण जिओ टेक्निकल इंजिनियरिंग जी टपिक्स है टपिकर ऊपर प्राय क्वेश्चन आई थके ए पी एस सी रिलेटेड एग्जाम सो आम आज अरिजिन अफ चर विषय कमप्लीट डिस्काशन करके भिडिओ तो चाय भल पाए लाइव क्लास तो भल पाए देन चेनेल तो सबसक्राइब कर दी सो देट मैं मेक्सीम भिडिओ आपलोड कर पार तो आम पलम नक चेप्टर तो आरम्भ कर सो अरिजिन अफ सल्स द टर्म इट सेल्फ सेज देट हाउ द सल अरिजिनेट सो ह्वाट इज द प्रसेस अफ सल इन केस अफ अरिजिन अफ सल्स फार्ष्ट इट इज रिटिन एज सल मास इज ए मेट्रिक्स हुईज इज कन्सिस्टिंग अफ अर्गेनिक or inorganic soil particles water air in different purpose so soils bil soil ki hoy bodi kono bai hode apnak soil is uh, basically a matrix at a matrix bili ami kobo paru jot uh, we have organic particles some organic particles are uh, found in soil let's suppose some organ like uh, microbes or like bacteria these are nothing but organic substance okay let, let's suppose fungi is these are organic substance okay then uh, similarly i mean uh, soil at keep up paru inorganic solids so we can uh, find in inorganic soil in case of soil also okay so he to hoise uh, inorganic particles mane amar je black soils molecules ase he soils molecules black uh, inorganic nature hoy ओके किसान मलिकोज तार पास वाटार तो थके अबियाली एंड एयर पार्टिकल्स बिल्कुल सल थे सो सीकार सल की है सल इज बेसिकली यू कैन से डेट मेट्रिक्स हुईज कन्सिस्ट अफ अर्गेनिक अर्गेनिक पार्टिकल्स इतने पा जाए इनअर्गेनिक पार्टिकल्स पार्टिकल्स इतने पा जाए और अपना बेसिकली एयर पार्टिकल्स व्टार पार्टिकल्स गोटेखि पा जाए राइट इट इज प्रड्यूस बै डिस इंटिग्रेशन और वेडारिंग अफ रक्स इतने टर्म लिखा डिस इंटिग्रेशन एंड वेडारिंग अफ रक्स डिस इंटिग्रेशन मानने कि सपोज आम सपोज रक्स सपोज आम शिल आस लाइक दैट और ये शिल तो कि हल बिकज अफ साम सार्कमस्टेन्स लाइक फिजिकल सार्कमस्टेन्स फिजिकल सार्कमस्टेन्स मैं सपोज क्या कारण इतना बता वाइन ब्लो आरम्भ कर वाइन ब्लो कि हम देट अबियाली देट वाइन उथ सम सम पार्ट अफ देट बोल्डार्स कैन वि लिफ्ट आउट के हम इते डिउ टू सम फिजिकल प्रसेस कि हो जा शिल तो टुकुरा टुकुर हो जा देट प्रसेस इज नाथिंग बट डिस इंटिग्रेशन तार पास जी सल पार्टिकल्स पार्टिकल्स बै मीनस अफ साम फिजिकल एक्शन लाइक व्टार और बै ग्रेविटी और तैने के किब बेलेगे जेगाल ट्रांसफार हम और तैने के रक फर्म हम राइट इट कन्सिस अफ भेरियास शेप सज एंड बिहेवियर हुईज भेरिज फ्रम प्लेस टू प्लेस एकर्डिंग टू दंडिशन सो सल्स सल्स पार्टिकल सज शेप बिहेवियर सकोब डिफारेन्ट है लेट सपोज आज राजस्थान फल से इफ यू गो टू द राजस्थान तक अलग रेड कलर किसान सल पार्टिकल पा जाए बेसिकली जैगा टुकड़ार जी रेड कलर सल दिस आर नोन एज ब्लेक कटन सल्स सल्स कि है सीतर सुवेलींग केपासिटी तो बेसि थे 
বাট ইন কেস অফ আসাম যদি আপনি চাব যায় তাত কি পাওয়া যায় অলিভিয়েল সয়েল বেসিকে পাওয়া যায় অলিভিয়েল সয়েল মানে যা আমার নদীর কাকরিয়া সয়েল সো সিহতর যেখিনি স্ট্রাকচার সয়েলর যে স্ট্রাকচার হয় সেফ হয় সাইজ হয় বা বিহেভিয়ার বিহেভিয়ার মানে ই কেন রিয়েক্ট করে ওকে সো সেইখিনি ডিফারেন্ট হব এজ কম্পেয়ার টু দ্য সয়েলস হুইস আর ফাউন্ড ইন রাজস্থান রাইট সো সেইটুকে ইয়ে কে ইনকান সয়েল হ্যাজ ভেরিয়াস শেপ সয়েলর বিভিন্ন ধরনের শেপস থাকে সাইজ থাকে অ্যান্ড বিহেভিয়ার থাকে হুইজ ভেরিজ ফ্রম প্লেস টু প্লেস একর্ডিং টু কন্ডিশন কন্ডিশন অনুযায়ী এই কি হয় প্লেস টু প্লেস চেঞ্জ হব ওকে দেন ওয়ান ইজ ইম্পর্টেন্ট এম সি কিউ কুয়েশনত আহে এই যে আমার ট্রান্সফরমেশন সিস্টেম বা জিওলজিক্যাল সার্কেল সেই জিওলজিক্যাল সার্কলসর সিকুয়েন্স সুধি দিয়ে ওকে সো ফার্স্ট ইয়ে কে দ্য ফর্মেশন অফ সয়েল ইজ এ সাইক্লিক প্রসেস সাইক্লিক প্রসেস মানে কি হোয়াট ডু মিন বাই সাইক্লিক প্রসেস সাপোজ আমার একটা প্রসেস যার কোনো ফিক্স স্টার্ট বা এন্ডিং নাই ইট ইজ এ কন্টিনিউস প্রসেস এই হয়েছে সাইক্লি সাপোজ ইয়ে এটা প্রসেস আরম্ভ হয়েছে এ ওকে সো তারপর ই এটা স্টেজত আছে বি দেন সাপোজ সিত আছে দেন সাপোজ ডিত আছে আকো ডিরপরে কি হয়েছে সাপোজ এ লে আকো গুছি যাব দ্যাট মিনস আমার যত স্টার্ট হয়েছিল তাতে ফাইনেলি আকো এন্ডিং হয়ে আকো তারপর স্টার্ট করেছে দ্যাট মিনস ইট ইজ এ রিভার্সেবল প্রসেস ওকে ই ই রিভার্সেবল নহয় মানে সাপোজ প্রসেসটু স্টার্ট হয়েছে স্টার্ট হয়েছে এন্ড দেন এগেইন ইট স্টার্ট ফ্রম দ্য ইনিশিয়াল প্রসেস ওকে এবার ফিনিশ হয়েছে দেন এগেইন ওয়ান সাইকেল দেন এগেইন ওয়ান সাইকেল দ্যাট মিনস ইট ইজ এ সাইক্লিক প্রসেস সো সেই সাইক্লিক প্রসেসটুত সয়েলর যে সাইক্লিক প্রসেস দ্য সাইক্লিক প্রসেস হুইজ এ স্কেয়ার আউট ইন কেস অফ সয়েল ইট ইজ নোন এজ পেডোজেনেসিস ওকে সো পেডোজেনেসিস সমটাইমস ইন এম সি কিউ এক্সামস ভেরিয়াস এম সি কিউ এক্সাম দে আর আকসিং that what do you mean uh, what is pedogenesis or sometimes uh, uh, they may frame the questions like the cyc- cyclic process of soil is known as so there are various options they might uh, given to you and you have to say that uh, what is uh, what is the uh, correct answer then you have to say that it is a pedogenesis right so so in case of soil in case of soil we have uh, basically five is this okay suppose if it is started from rock then uh, the weathering action that means uh, disintegrations or erosions of the rocks taking place in the first stage second stage of ki hobo second stage of uh, it is goes to transportation uh, in transportation ki hobo jibla weathering action by erosions action or karne uh, rocks to break hole he rocks kini রকসর যে ব্রেক কোয়ান্টিটি হয় সেই কোয়ান্টিটি খেয়ে এটা জায়গার পর আন এটা জায়গালে ট্রান্সপোর্ট করা তো দ্যাট মিনস ইট উইল ট্রান্সফার রক মেটেরিয়ালস অর ইট উইল ট্রান্সফার দ্য ইরোসনস মেটেরিয়ালস ফ্রম ওয়ান প্লেস টু ওয়ানাডার বাই মিনস অফ এয়ার অর বাই মিনস অফ ওয়াটার এন্ড দেন আফটার দ্যাট হোয়াট ইজ হ্যাপেনিং স্ট্রেটিফিকেশনস অর ডিপোজিশনস দেন আফটার সাপোজ ইয়ে কিছুমান সয়েল পার্টিকল আসলে দে আর সম সয়েল পার্টিকলস that soil particles now transfer to a, uh, another place and uh, suppose this place uh, and then uh, the soil particles slowly slowly try to deposit one by one layer by layer so that uh, particular thing is known as depositions okay after depositions what is happening depositions what is ki hobo it will uh, goes for alluvial after that alluvial hobo okay alluvial or uh, here uh, this process is also known as lithification or induration so after depositions they are uh, tried to uh, combine together and uh, then they form a hard stratum and hard particles and that hard particles the formations of from the depositions material to the hard particles is nothing but alluvials after that alluvials uh, uh, then it is uh, completely after some times it is uh, some amount of time or after some duration it is transferred to rock okay so in exam they ask the sequence sequence in the sense first they provide rock then a uh, rock formation amar ki hoyse after that ki hol after that weathering okay then weathering okay after weathering ki hoyse 
we have transportation he sequential mana rakhebo after transportation ki hoyse we have depositions and after depositions what is happening after deposition it is happening as upheaval and after upheaval what is happening rock formations right so that is nothing but a uh, geological cycle so i hope one lot ke bujhi paise what do you mean by geological cycles okay so he kini asile geological cycle er upor discussions etia will uh, move to the uh, uh how the soils actually weathering actions taking place what types of weathering actions are there so, because a uh, rock at a this integrations kora to ba rock at a irrigations kora to iman eta sohoj kotha no right so he karne ki hobo uh we have two basic fundamental uh, basic fundamental uh types of weathering uh that is uh, basically weathering of uh, soils uh, divided into two parts one is known as physical weathering and another is known as chemical weathering so physical weathering means uh, by means of physical actions and chemical weathering means chemical weathering means by means of chemical actions right so in this case what is happening in case of physical weathering if someone asks what do you mean by physical weathering you have to say that it is the action okay it is action which is combined with respect to wind so etu ki karane hoy wind or karane hoy one is wind then another is water another is freezing and thawing so physical weathering is a combined phenomena or it is due to the actions of wind mane bata water freezing and thawing so he gute kita external force or karane rock at a disintegration start hoy because of that uh, wind water or freezing or throwing the disintegrations of rock taking place right so the compositions of resultant soil is same as that of parent rocks so here uh, one of the important line it is said that the compositions of soil is same as that parent rock what do you mean by that that means suppose let's suppose we have one rock let's suppose we have an igneous rocks okay suppose we have igneous rocks then um, by means of wind water or freezing actions it's convert to some kind of soil particle or some kind of small small particles okay and now it is said that the properties the uh, composition suppose igneous rocks or soil particles will like or compositions will like suppose we have uh, some uh, properties like igneous materials uh, some composition suppose uh, we have uh, let's suppose aluminum so aluminum or suppose percentage of let t percent so after the compositions or after this integrations the percentage of this aluminum remains same that means g black materials materials or the igneous rock to form hoise to this integration korar piso to hey materials black or uh, compositions be like same thake okay produce coarse grain particles of bulky form are you have the coarse grain particles ki suman form kare coarse grain uh, we have uh, if you study in soil mechanics that is then you can find that soils are classified into two types like first one is uh, fine grain soil and second one is coarse grain soil coarse grain soil mane apni uh, just mona rakhibo pare je coarse grain soil is having larger particle size the particle size to dangor hoy if the larger uh, if the particle size is larger then it is known as coarse grain soils and if the particle size is smaller if it is a smaller then it is known as cam uh, then uh, it is known as your fine grain soil okay so in case of general cases uh, physical weathering is uh, basically uh, from because of uh, after physical weathering the rocks or rock materials are transfer into co coarse grain particles or the bulky form so in case of coarse grain particles we can uh, say that coarse grain particles are form in bulky nature bulky nature means uh, here the particles are largely divided okay or the large particles are there so he can soil to come bulky will equal 
right next we have chemical weathering so physical weathering ot ami ki hoy we have physical forces like wind like water and like freezing but in case of chemical weathering uh here some chemical actions are taking places like uh disintegrations of rocks due to some chemical actions like uh we have some uh properties like oxidations once when the uh, rock is reacted in presence of oxygen then that process is nothing but oxidations then hydration if the soil is uh, reacted uh, if the chemical uh, if the soil is reacted with some water molecules or if the soil is uh, reacted some carbon dioxide or carbon molecules in that case what is happening in that case chemical weathering is happening okay so here the basic difference between physical weathering and chemical weathering is that in case of physical weathering the mineral properties which are uh, there in case of origin or the in case of rock it is now transfer okay in case of chemical weathering so the basic difference the parent rocks mineral compositions are same in case of chemical weathering but in case of physical weathering the mineral compositions of parent rocks never change right so next question ki result in the formation of crystalline particles of colloidal size known as clay meteorites so here the process oxidation hydration or carbon carbonations hoy in this uh, chemical weathering process uh, basically oxidation hoy then hydrations hoy then carbonations hoy or he hote basically uh, clay like minerals uh, form kore and clay like minerals bilak kyo crystalline bilak ho hoise because clay line materials bilak ke definite arrangement of soil particles bilak thake in case of clay aro hi hote iman sundor ke hojjito hoy thake that's why hi hote at a proper structural weight uh, nijor jikhini soil particles hoy he soil particles bilak ke arrange kori loy that's why in case of chemical weathering the soils which are form has less size that we can say that it is a colloidal site colloidal sites mane ami sokure generally many monibo noaru tar eta eta khuddo khuddo particles but physical weathering ot ki hoy coarse grain soils have form hoy that means amar je black particles hoy individual particle or diameter to dangor hoy ami generally observe koribo paru okay we can observe from uh, from by the naked eyes okay but in case of chemical weathering the particles are basically colloidal uh, colloidal size and uh, because of their uh, clay minerals like mont morolite kaolinite elite these are the various uh, clay minerals because of uh, because uh, uh, due to the presence of that clay minerals the colloid uh, the chemical uh, the rocks which are for uh, the soils which are formed by the chemical weathering process they are crystalline in nature okay so now we'll uh, try to study about the types of rocks what are the basic types of rocks in is present in case of soil mechanics so uh, in our childhood we, we may also aware of this what are the types of so uh, rocks so basically uh, rocks are classified uh, into two types that is primary rocks or igneous rocks three types basically igneous rocks we can uh, the other name of igneous rocks is primary rocks so it is uh, basically from because of solidification of lava for example granite basalt diorite so try to remember this one so okay tiaba khudi di mc could sometimes they may ask uh, they may uh, give him some names like granite and uh, they ask so uh, granite is a and they will given uh, some options like igneous rocks sedimentation rock metamorphic rocks none of the above then you have to click, click on igneous rock so what is the property of igneous rocks the property of igneous rocks is it is from because of solidification of lava okay it is from because of solidification of lava so suppose uh, uh, because of some uh, some area suppose some solidifications of lava is taking places right 
So at that time, some particles which are expelled from the ground that were uh, that that are uh, some rock basically, and that rocks are nothing but granite and basalt or diorite. Okay. Next, we have sedimentation. Sedimentation is uh, basically it is a secondary. Why it is secondary? Because at the first, after the solidifications of lava, what is happening? After the solidifications of lava, uh, igneous rocks are formed. After igneous rocks forming, the disintegrations of igneous rocks are taking place by uh, because of some external factors uh, like uh, wind, like you can say that freezing, or we can say that the water, because of that uh, external force, what is happening? The igneous rocks are, uh, the erosions of igneous rocks taking place. Because of the erosions of igneous rocks, what is happening? Uh, they are uh, transformed from one place to another place. And then they are deposited layer by layer. Okay, the erosion materials are deposited layer by layer. So that part is nothing but uh, that's why the rocks which are formed after depositions layer by layer, their, their properties are different as compared to the igneous or primary rocks. Since it is formed due to the uh, from basically from the primary rocks or igneous rocks, that's why it is known as secondary rocks. And why it is called sedimentary? Because it is from because of depositions of soils or depositions of particles. That's why it is known as sedimentary. So it is rocks form after weathering and further litification of igneous rock. So weathering, how will I give First stage of yeah, the weathering should be there. After that, what is happening? After that, further litification. That means soil to look tan Then kihobo sandstone form hobo. But sedimentary. They are very, very important. Upon your exams that you prepare for, then you have to remember this. That is, uh, what are the examples of sedimentary rocks? So, the examples of sedimentary rocks are what? The examples of sedimentary rocks one is sandstone. So, bottom to is a sandstone, and second to is a limestone. So, I hope upon a little clear what is the basic difference between secondary rock and the primary rock, okay? So next we'll move to the tertiary or metamorphic rock. So metamorphic rock and tertiary rocks, the name itself says it is no, neither secondary nor primary. It is from after the, uh, after, uh, uh, suppose the rock, suppose some rock, suppose it, was, it may be a uh, sandstone or it may be basalt. So what happens because of some temperature variations or because of some pressure variations in the surrounding atmosphere. And uh, another is we can say that uh, first, suppose the earth pressure condition inside the rock interior is different as compared to the external earth pressure condition. Okay, so that's why what is happening because of uh, temperature difference or because of pressure difference, the properties of rock matter is getting changed. So suppose sandstone's properties are getting uh, changed and after sometimes, or after a long decades, what is happening? Suppose uh, the metamorphic rocks are transferred, uh, suppose uh, the secondary rocks are transferred to another types of rocks that is known as tertiary or metamorphic rocks, okay? So uh, examples are very, very important. Pai uh, Huditake, what are the examples of metamorphic rocks? The examples are basically uh, marvels. Marvel is example of metamorphic rocks. Quartzite is example of metamorphic rocks. Cyst is an example of metamorphic rocks, okay? Then we have very, very important charts that starts uh, sometimes asking in MCQ exams. So you have to remember <coughs> this small source, sorry, okay? So here it is said that olivial, in case of olivial, 
if if the uh, source of transportation of the soil is river try to understand the concept the source of transportation of soil particles suppose a uh, physical this is integrations hoy goise rock eter tar bisod soil er erosion hoyse rock er erosion hoyse aru tar je black particles he particles gula jodi river dara flow hoy pelai apnar river bank ot jama hoyse so tenukar soil bila ko ami ki boli kom alluvial bila kom so tenuka bila soil e amar basically amar assamat common because ahomot dangor dangor river as like brahmaputra like borak so tar je bila valley that's valleys are basically he je ki kon dangor nodi ase ba hi hotor je ki upon hoy ase so hi hote ki he nodi bila ke ki hoyse lahe lahe rock or je kini materials hoy erosional materials hoy he materials kini ather pora an eta side le loi goise so he can because of river action or can soils to form hole that's why it is known as alluvial okay then lakes because of lakes ketia ba ki hoy dangor dangor je bilak amar lakes ase hord ase he lakes bilak or ki hoy lakes bilak or tolot soil jama hoy he soil bilak ki hor karone hoy because he soil bilak kor pora hile because of the lakes lakes or karone he soil kini ahile so belak eta jagar pora eta jagale transfer korile by means of lakes he can need to go away lake of streams okay then we have meruin marine marine itself it is says to see so see follow floor carne so this is the black soils of our uh holy gold that's are nothing but marines okay then we next on our carne bota hor carne so they hold that so bota hor carne for bullet of evelyn believe i try to remember the soils name very very important then gravitation so the gravitational carne soils why then it is known as uh basically the gravitational so uh we can say that the gravitational uh, because of gravitation so or the source of transportation is gravitation then it is known as colluvial soil so tetia ami do colluvial soil bile kom right next we have a uh, glacial uh, in case of glacial soil what is happening in case of glacial soil if you see uh, because of the ice actions so ice or karone borof or karone jodi apnar suppose uh, transport soil blocks form hoy then it is known as glacial soil okay so hekinir bahiro kichu man other types ase he types blak uh, uh, ba hihotor properties blak mon rakhate jothesto dorkari hoy okay so hekini kotha ami etia discuss korim so basically uh, eolin soils are uniform or poorly graded so eolin soils be like uh, uniform but poorly graded soil hoy so poorly graded ki hoy he bikoy ami discuss korim in the coming lectures so trust try to remember is that uniform soils are basically uh, uh, eolin soils are uniform or poorly graded so eolin soil be like uniform hoy or poorly graded hoy okay next uh, eolin soil sor aro eta property ase eolin soil have low density and high compressibility the properties of eolin soil it has low density and high compressibility so yeah density to kom hoy but compressibility to beshi thake and the lacustrine soil lacustrine soils are highly compressible so lacustrine soil jibila like lake or karone form hoy hihotu bahut compressible hoy compressible hoy that means void ratio to beshi void ratio beshi hoar karone compressible to beshi hoy karon ami jodi upor pa load lagao ki hobo because of void ratio tat void ratio beshi mane ki tate soil tot void bahut khali ase ei karone jodi ami load di dim loge loge expulsion hoy jabo jitu ami kalir video discuss kori silo consolidations and compaction process going or after the after the consolidation or compaction process obviously the volume is decreases or settlement is there right so he can a lacustrine soil or black key hoy not our series tend to come hoy so another important term you have to remember that is marine soils have flocculated structure and glacial soils are well graded so our glacial soils be like key hoy well graded hoy next we have another important soil particles or other soil particles which are uh, sometimes uh, in uh, competitive as uh, exam they may ask what do you mean by cumulus cumulus is nothing but 
it is basically mac or it is a mac type found uh, water lock condition due to the accumulations of organic compounds so cumulus to basically i mean organic compound so just try to remember this so cumulus is nothing but we will get some organic compound along with the soil particles loam loam ki hoy ketia ba option sir who did loam is basically a mixture of sand we have to add sand then silty then clay sand silt and clay ei tinta jeti a mixture kore diya hoy tetia tak loam boli kowa hoy okay so sometimes uh, this question so so asks in uh, previous year apsc exam what do you mean by loam loam is nothing but uh, it is a mixture of sand sand or logot ami mix kore diu silt silt or logot aku ami ki mix kore diu clay so it is a basically the mixture of sand silt and clay so tetia etu ami ki boli kom loam boli kom right then we have mar mar there mar is basically formed from the marine condition so he can our uh, first term to ma to i say so they, these are marine soil which are fine grain and calcium carbonate so uh, marine soil uh, mar ki hoy in a marine of jibla soil take like marine soil bilik hoy manage hagor jibla soil take aro jodi tat fine grain to beshi hoy jay aro logote ki hoy calcium carbonate ko jay tetia ta ki bilik hoy mar bilik mon rakhi mar is nothing but these are basically marine soil Marls are marine soil, which are fine grain and calcium carbonates are there, right? Next we'll move, uh, found, uh, marine soils are uh, basically found due to the decompositions of dead cells or animals in aquatic life. So, Hagor Parot ki hoi? Hagor Parot apunar, uh, depositions of dead cells hoi, bohu ki be like animals die hoi. So, animals be like monar pisot hi hot or dead cells be like decompositions hoi. But aquatic like for carne, just uh, because of some large Pieces are there in case of C. So he will like that. He wants that the more is there, more is there. Pieces are he wants to decompose. So he or he can he wants calcium carbonate form. Or he or fine grain soil or logo that calcium carbonate mix with is there. Then that soil is known as mud. Okay. Then another <coughs> important soil is you can say that tough. Okay. What is tuff? Tuff is basically fine grain soil ejected from volcanoes. Tuff is basically fine grain soil which is ejected from volcanoes. So volcano carnage will be ejected hoy. That is known as tuff. And then bentonite. Bentonite is a clay which consists of the proportion of mud mortar. So it may be, uh, in future we'll uh, try to discuss this particular clay minerals in details. This is very very important. This particular clay minerals, a clay minerals to be clear, I mean, details of pohi. So clay consists of high portion of monmorolite, monmorolite or portion to basi hoy, highly plastic and have high swelling and sinkless character. So bentonite soil like Rajasthan or pale poazai, jod ki hoy monmorolite uh, clay minerals ata thake, aro hetero presence or karni ki hoy soil bilak like swell kore, shrink kore, sink ba soil bilak like fully zai, kiti ba soil bilak like shrink kore, uh, aro. Hetu ki hor karne hoi mon more light materials to karne hoi ba mon more light laminaries to karne hoi. Hetu ki deva hodi de. Next we have laterite. Laterite is the hard soil consists of iron oxide. Jodi amar hard soil ata or logot iron oxide ahi jai. Fe2O3. Or logot ahi jai amar aluminum oxide that is Al2O3. But silica amar na thake. So silica or kunul horno compound is present na thake. Titiya thak kwa hoi laterite. Okay. So try to remember it. So hekhniya sile a other video tour or other class tour that is that is ami origin of soils due to chapter hoy chapter one from APSC syllabus chapter one to aji geotechnical engineering apna lo kora complete kori so so akha kora apna lo sathe sto prokite hoyse a topic gita bikhe koi degree or diploma student hokolor. So, if you like this video, please like this video, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.